Hi, this is David Williams from iExpert Advisor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the File I.O. plugin to create an Expert Advisor that writes tick data to a file. Now, you could use the File I.O. plugin to read and write to and from any kind of file format, but this is just a real easy one that I could show you real quick. So to begin with, we'll create a new system and I'll give it a good name. I'll call this one uh, Tick Saver. Hit OK and this will create a single drawing. Now the first thing to do is to go into the Systems Manager and click the File I.O. Manager. And this is where we can configure exactly what the file looks like. Uh, and there are some other parameters as well. So the file format is a text file and I can choose how I want to separate the data elements within the file. I'm going to choose a comma here and then so there's some other information about the maximum size of the file and what to do when it reaches this maximum. Now the most important part is adding the column data. So this file is actually going to hold tick data. So what I want to do is I want to have a column that has the name, the currency name, so I'll call this uh, my symbol, and it's a string type, so I'll set it to string. And now I'm going to add another column, and this will be for the ask price, and that's a double data type, so I don't have to change that. And then I'll add one more column for the bid price. Now I could keep doing this. I could add the close price, the open price. I could I could save all the prices here, but for this video, I'll just do those. So that defines the format of our file. And when we use the functions within VTS to write to the file, it is going to write in that format. It's going to write on every line the symbol, the bid price, and the ask price. So that actually is the hard part. Now we go over into the toolbox and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a variable to hold the name of the file and the reason I do this is so you just have to define the name of the file in one spot only well, that name is taken and I'll call it tick file name and then I'll define the value so this is the with the files actually going to be named I'll call it tickdata.txt. And so that could be a text file. Actually, you can name the file anything you want. It could be a text file. It could be a, what we call a comma separated file, CSV. Uh, and I'll show you later what that means. So now we have a variable that holds the file name. Now all we have to do is go into the functions toolbox, into the file IO section, and I'm going to pull out a function called fn file write. Now this is going to write to the file format that we defined and it's going to write to this file. I'm going to call it, uh, going to choose the variable which is tick file name. And so what happens here automatically when you define in the file IO configuration the columns of data, they appear automatically as parameters in this function. And so you see that's exactly the way we define the my symbol, my ask price, and my bid price. And so now we just configure this like any other function in VTS where we'll choose values for those parameters. Now the values I'm going to choose are uh, actual MQL built-in variables. This one is symbol so that will always write the name of the currency symbol and then ask and bid are both um, built-in price variables. Now on every tick, uh, file write is going to be called and it'll write a line to the file with the symbol name, the bid price, and the ask price. So now we'll go ahead and build this. That built the expert advisor. And now we'll go over to the platform and well let me refresh the expert advisor list and then I'll go ahead and I will attach 
the expert advisor to this chart. So now the expert advisor is running and you can see from the top corner that the tick is incrementing so I know that there's new price data coming in and each time new price data comes in that file write function writes data to the file. So let's go ahead and take a look in the file system. This is where it wrote that file tickdata.txt and this is what it looks like. So there's a currency symbol, the ask price and the bid price and they're separated by a comma. Now you could have named this um, file anything you wanted as I said. Now if you give something a name with uh, a CSV extension and you have um, Microsoft Excel installed, when you double click the file it'll open up in Excel. So this is just another way of looking at the same data but depending on what you're writing this could be a very convenient way to look at the data that you're sending out from your expert advisor. So that wraps up how you can use the file IO plugin to create a file that writes tick data. Now you can do this for every single currency there is. You could write mixed currencies to the same file. Um, and then also with the file IO plugin you could read data as well. I'm not going to go over that in this video. But I do want to emphasize that using the file IO configuration you can define the file in almost any way. So this could be used for a lot more than just creating files of tick data. Uh, you just have to go through the analysis and configure the file correctly and once you do that it's as simple as using uh, functions like you do everywhere else. Okay, thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video.